Hello. And good evening, everybody. I know I streamed earlier today, but I decided it might be kind of fun to do a, uh, a little bit of a surprise evening stream. And maybe take a break from Mario because it's uh, all I've been playing for the last uh, two plus weeks. Not that I don't like it, but I thought it might just be nice to, to uh, refresh my my palette a little bit with something else. I'm kind of considering doing two separate, uh, yeah, Night Crab. I'm considering doing two separate streams during the weekdays. Uh, and so this is kind of me testing it out to an extent. Uh, I'm thinking of doing my normal streaming from 10 to 3, where that's my stream where I play games that I intend to be in a relatively fast fashion. You know, things like Mario, story-driven games. Uh, that's where I would have put all of the platformers I've been playing through. Games that have an ending that you can expect to reach in a reasonable amount of time. Then I'm considering doing a totally separate stream series in the evenings, maybe for two or three hours a night during the weeknights or during, yeah, during weeknights where I play uh, games that don't have an ending, or if they do, you're not going to be reaching it in a normal amount of time. Games like Splatoon, Roguelites, uh, shooters and like other multiplayer PvP games, Super Auto Pets, maybe League of Legends one day if I feel, uh, if I ever get good enough to show it. Stuff like that. Just games that I can play in the evening for fun. That I'm not just trying to, you know, finish and move on to the next game. So this is kind of a test, like, trial of that to see how I how I like it, see how you like it. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. But yeah, let's jump into some Splatoon. This is, you know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, this... This is my first time, I think, playing Splatoon on stream. But Splatoon has been, like, a huge part of my life for uh, a while. In fact, it's probably in the... It's definitely in the top, like, five games I've spent the most time in. And uh, Raptor... Uh, Raptor Hime, my wife, uh, plays a lot of Splatoon. Way more than me, but I've played a lot of it, too. I'm not going to say I'm good at it, though. Uh, if you please do not expect me to be good, I'm actually not. <laughs> I just have fun. I just like playing it. Oops, wrong one. Hey, don't tell people that. I, I would say that Raptor is pretty good at this game. Okay. I should have put down my. I should have put down another wall. I could. I could have creeped up on it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> don't expect me to be good at this game for sure because I'm not going to be. Out of me. Okay, mostly salmon run. Okay, someone disconnected. Great. If you've never played Splatoon 3, uh, that happens sometimes. Somebody will disconnect from a match within the first minute. Instead of letting it play out, even though it's just a normal game, uh, the game cancels it.
Right now I'm using a 52 gal, which is one of my favorite weapons. I'm pretty sure it's classified as, as what's known as a Slayer weapon, which is a weapon that you use for kills, primarily over inking. At least that's how I play it. Pretty fun. this song before. I haven't played the game since the new update, really. Wow, that was a perfectly placed fly block. Honestly, I can't even be mad about it. You only need to land two hits to get a kill with uh, the 52. Unfortunately, its shots are not super accurate. They have like a bit of a deviation to them. This song's pretty awesome. Though. Dang it, that just marked me. definitely need a warm-up. It has been a while since I played this, and I did not do any warm-up matches. I was, I was like, I'm just gonna send it. Gosh. We are getting absolutely cooked. We are, we're losing terribly. He's really good at throwing those spot bombs. Yeah, my team is getting absolutely stomped right after. I don't know if you're seeing this. Look at this map, if you, if you can. It's It's been bad. Oh, it's been so bad. Okay, I don't feel so bad for losing this one, actually. Oh, 27.5% to 56.3. Yeah, when you lose that bad, you kind of... You kind of can't feel bad about it, because it's such a one-sided stomp. We're going to change gear. Switching to my scumbag weapon after losing so terribly. Uh, no offense to anybody else who uses this weapon, but Tenta Missile Spam is kind of rough. <laughs> 
but gotta do what I gotta do. Also, yeah, thinking about it, since I've never really talked about Splatoon on stream, I love Splatoon's OSD. Probably one of my favorite video game OSDs. Like, all three of them, really. So now I'm using, uh, what is this, the Tri-Stringer? So this is an inking weapon. I, you can get kills with it, but... At least when it's in my hands, that's not what it's good at. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna ink. Oh, they're also using a tri -string. I was like, dang, somebody's really spamming Tenta Missiles on their, on their team. It's because they're doing the same thing. Oh, that's a lot of auto -pulls. Safe to go down there with a the wobbler. As soon as I started to use my Tenta missiles while they were missiles on me, I knew it was over. I don't know why I used the trigger. Oh, and it used my special. Maybe we won, maybe we lost. We lost. <laughs> we lost by a pretty good amount. That's a cool shirt. Never seen that shirt. Someone used the, uh... Someone used the... The, uh... Machine. What is it called? Jukebox. Every time. Yeah, every time.
I'm happy we got this song again, though. I'm really liking it. Pro, pro, my butt. Wow, what a name. He's not just a pro. He's a pro, pro. Problem is, we haven't, we don't really control the mid, like the middle lane or middle section. So that might, might be right. yeah. Oh, I got all four with that. It's, it's my one chance <laughs> to jump into a wobbler. <laughs> all right. Seven point eight to fifty five point three. Not close. If Raptor was here on my team, we would be winning. Probably. Number one turf anchor, number one enemy base anchor, number one home base anchor. I'm not saying I did good, by any means. I'm just saying... I did everything I could on, uh, you know, on my end. We have oh we do we have both tri stringers on this team oh my gosh they have a tri stringer too there's just going to be tenta missiles everywhere this game. there's going to be so many tenta missiles Take 
Okay, gonna jump, gonna jump. Oh shoot, I don't know if I can get him. There's two of them, I gotta go. I cannot be here. And it was a 2v1. I should have backed up. You know what? Let's go this way. This weapon's so good at inking. I'm not very good at getting kills with it. I have gotten lucky, like, shots before. Like that, the craziest shot of my life. Another insane shot. Alright, they're just all going on this guy. Don't jump to me, don't jump to me. Can you not see there's a fight going on? Okay, good. I hit them, but not all three. That guy has nothing but, like, uh, resistance. I did not look at the map. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> Terrible. Absolutely awful. One, two, three, four. Highest on everything for inking. Now, honestly, this is a really good outfit. We're going to keep it. Every time it asks me when I'm done, it's like, are you good with this gear? I'm like, no, not really, but... I'm not good with it, but I'm going to try anyways. Okay, we booyah, we might have a chance. We have a morale boost. One person over there, three people over there. They have. Oh, I got a, I got a kill. They just died next to me, we're leaving.
How did that even happen? That guy, like, went past me. I don't know what happened. Raptor, would you say my design took inspiration from Splatoon in any capacity? I mean, obviously, it's completely original. Uh, but would you say we took any... I, I would say we took some inspiration from, like, the Splatoon. Yeah, we definitely. I think Plum, with a maybe some slight art style changes, would absolutely fit it as one of the, like, shopkeepers or NPCs in this game. Which, honestly, would be the coolest thing ever. Well, that's what we should do. Raptor, I should... We, we should maybe do a, a piece with Plum in the Splatoon art style. I'm not totally confident. I should ramp. I should ramp way sooner. Need a lamp like Oh, I, I hit him. I got it. He was behind me. You gotta run. You gotta run. You charger, take care of him. Scared. I gotta go. I got him. <laughs> I was too deep in it. Oh, I didn't. I should have inked our base. We lost again. Yep. 40.5 to 51.7. I could, it would be a change of pace for my usual art style. Yeah, we should do that. That would be so cool. to get like one one win tonight honestly the fact that i've gone this many games in a row without a win is like crazy because i mean it's kind of a 50 50 i mean either you win or you lose the fact that i've gone this long without a win is Pretty wild. Okay, I'm, I'm inking our base, like, fully this time. Already somebody in our base? Okay. Sending it down Main Street. I got somebody. Back up. Oh, boy. That's a lot of swim speed. Yeah, we should definitely do that at some point after. When, when you're not, like, you know, busy working on other projects that are more important. 
That's so many people. The map looks <laughs> Oh my gosh, they are there. They have completely taken our our base. I hope that's get somebody. Take out somebody. I have been playing with the same group for the most part this entire time. I feel like... I mean, maybe not. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Let me look at the stats. Number... Overall splatter? Number one base anchor? Number one something else? No, it's not me. Number one overall splatter? Number one home base anchor? Number one enemy base anchor? Hello, Wolfie! It's good to see you! Welcome in. How are you doing? I'm doing a little bit of a palette cleanser from all the Mario I've been playing. All the platforming and Mario and... 100 percenting to play a little bit of uh, one of my favorite games. Platoon. I'm not doing fantastic, though. But I am having fun. That's what matters. I arrived in the end of your earlier stream, so I couldn't watch you. Aw. But you're here now, and I appreciate it. I, I, you know what else I'd appreciate? One win. Just, like, one. A singular win. Thank you for the cheers. Have you ever played this game before? I have got to leave. It's too late. No, but one ex of mine really liked it, and I've watched it before. Oh, okay. I really like this game. Alright, see you later. <laughs>
Yeah, I was saying earlier, despite the fact that this is my first time playing it on stream, uh, this is one of my favorite games. Not a fan of FPS, but this one is quite nice. Uh, same, I don't play a lot of FPS, and when I do, I usually play them in like, the most non-traditional way possible, like, in playstyle. But Splatoon is nice, since the kills don't matter. I mean, they kind of matter, but not really. I'm just painting. That's a lot of people in one spot. Heck no. That ain't for me. I said go away. I said go away. Teammates, please. I've broken a thousand points, like... Have to go in. Have I heard of Crusader Kings? I have. I've never played them. This might be a win. This could be a win. No. Okay, it's the closest we've gotten to a win. Live streaming Splattershot Nova user. And they've got TV at the end of their name. All right. Number one inker. Number one home base inker. Number one enemy base inker. And I was first on my team. Again, I don't want to sound full of myself. So I'm not going to. <laughs> what kind of game is it again? The uh, Crusader Kings 3? Strategy game. Strategy games are interesting. Uh, I have a couple of them. I have games like Stellaris, um, Age of Wonders, I think. The new one that just came out. I think that's what it's called. Like, I have quite a few strategy games. And I don't dislike playing them, although I enjoy them more in a group setting. I kind of struggle with the concept of playing a strategy game on stream. Which is part of why I stopped my playthrough of Advanced Wars on stream, even though Advanced Wars is a game that I absolutely love. Not like I don't understand the concept of streaming a, a, a strategy game, because like, you know, you're just streaming a game. But I have a hard time streaming games like that in front of people, I learned really quickly. Which I know is kind of crazy, because, like, no one was backseating me, or pressuring me, or bad-mouthing me, or anything like that. I just felt bad. <laughs> like, I, I felt... I felt dumb. Like, every time I, like, didn't make a move instantly, or I made a mistake. Even though I know no one was was saying it, and I don't even think anybody was thinking it. I was thinking it, and it made me feel bad. I, I Maybe I will eventually come back to, like, puzzle games or strategy games. Because, like, I do want to. It just, I don't know, it made me really self-conscious. Which is weird, because... I stream all the time, and I'm not self-conscious about that. But there was something about playing strategy games, thinking games on stream, that made me kind of feel self-conscious. But like I said, maybe eventually I'll go back to it, because there are some puzzle games I want to play on stream. Uh, I bought 
poly bridge. Oh, we gotta wipe out. This could be it. I don't want to jinx it, but this could be our one. Let's get everybody in this. Come on, spawn in. There we go. Back up, back up. Back up. I have to back up, I can't. Probably because I, ha I think every move has to be the most optimal. Uh, that is probably 100% correct. I know it's not the right way to play games. And I don't do that with other games. It it's definitely a me problem. Okay, can I get off one more ultimate? One more special. Okay, we got a boot. I think we had it, but we lost it. I do, yeah, Plum does have that kind of perfectionism. I kind of do. I know it's not a good thing. Like, being a perfectionist is actually kind of bad. Uh, we need to stop and go refill our drink. In-game. Give me more of Ma's special blend. Special charge up. I mean, he can defeat a Mario boss in 20 seconds. I mean... Yeah, I mean, there were. I do remember there were some bosses where I, I beat them in, like, a couple seconds. So I guess I am kind of a perfectionist about me, like when I'm playing. Like I don't. If someone else, like if I'm playing with other people in a game, like in a multiplayer setting, if if my teammates are not doing the best, that's okay. I mean, I might get a little upset, like, you know, as much as anybody else would. But I don't hold them, I, I don't think I hold them to the same standard I hold myself. But like I said, for, for most games, I, I don't really even do it that much, I, I feel like. There's just something about strategy games. But yeah, I, like I said, I do have strategy games and puzzle games that I, I would like to stream. I just have to work up the nerve to do it again. I did not splat anybody with that. That's what I'm Walked into that. We're gonna back up. We're gonna back up. We're gonna get oh, we have a tent up early. I need to get my special. If they're all running from my Tenta missiles, that's like a fantastic time. The push. That's all four of them. Okay, 
That made everybody scatter a little bit. They gave us... Okay, I need to protect this one. That got two of us. <laughs> Is that Don Hung? From <laughs> Genshin... I'm Genshin. Uh, Honkai Star Rail? Team has once again not taken the middle section of the map, which leads me to believe we're not going Someday I might try playing Splatoon. That's that is a long time in the future when my computer does not. Uh, it is a Nintendo Switch game. So if you have a Switch, uh, or I, I should say, all you need to play it is a Switch. Well, and Nintendo Online, but all you need is a Switch because it's uh, not on PC. Please give me the. He did. Oh my gosh. Great. Keep going. I have no Nintendo device, never had sad. If it's like a money thing or uh, like access, I totally understand. I, I personally grew up with, like, PlayStation and Nintendo devices. I did not grow up with Sega, and I did not grow up with, like, Microsoft. And even though I, like, had a PlayStation, and I played PlayStation games, uh, I would say I didn't, I wasn't like a, like a hardcore, like, PlayStation fanatic, like, for first-party exclusives, but I always kind of was with, the uh, Nintendo. I'm, I'm a pretty big Nintendo guy. They, uh, unfortunately do not always do things that are fantastic. But I do really like the products they put out. Also, according to a rumor that I've seen reported, like, literally everywhere today, the next Nintendo console is supposedly going to be coming out uh, next year. In the second half of the year. Which I would guess would be, like, a Christmas uh, 2024 release. Assuming it's real. Honestly, it would make a lot of sense, though, given the age of the device. I had a PSP, too, uh, but I uh, broke it. <laughs> Sadly. I, uh, it was in my, it was in my jacket pocket, and I was reaching for the front door at my parents' house, because I was a kid at the time. It fell out of my pocket, it landed on the concrete, it never powered back on again. I was so sad.
PSP had some good games on it. Crisis Core? Oh my gosh, Crisis Core was... I love Crisis Core. I haven't played the remake, but oh my gosh, did I love that game. I don't know if that guy died. I think he's still over. Then after a lot of years of no console and sharing computer with my parents, I got an Xbox One and now it's broken. Oh no! Holy crap, what was... What the heck did they shoot me with? Oh, a splash on attic. That makes sense. We were winning, and now I don't think we are. <laughs> uh, story of the night. Oh, I'm in A mode now. That's weird. There we go. Have I been have I been on day mode this entire time? If so, oops, we're supposed to be on night mode because it's a night stream. I think I have been on day mode this entire time. Uh, everybody pretend it's been this cool night background that I almost never get to use. And uh, let's forget that I accidentally uh, switched to the wrong scene earlier and then never looked at the right thing. <laughs> but now I have a sucky laptop, so it's better than sharing. I mean, you are playing it. That's true. You know, it's funny. I kept, I, I'm looking over at chat, but I have chat really close to my first monitor. That I use two monitors. So I have chat right in the corner. Uh, and I finally looked over and I was like, that's a lot of bright colors over there. That's kind of weird. It should be pretty muted night colors. Oh, no. I made a mistake. Oh, well. Anyways, anyways, everyone please admire this cool night background that Raptor made a long time ago that I almost never used to. I wouldn't really like to target more than two people. I'm really going to target two people. That's a shame. No, thank you. Goodbye. It's really nice. I like the colors a lot. Range Blaster? Wait. Is that a Range Blaster? I don't think that is. That's not a Range Blaster. Rapid Blaster? What is that called? I don't really use Blaster. Oh my gosh, don't shoot him. Do not shoot that guy. You shoot it forward? He's gonna shoot it. He has he outranges me. I, I did hit him. Someone from behind shot me and came back. That was so sad. <laughs> I have to go. They outrange me, just straight up. Oh, I'm happy they didn't choose to pursue me. They probably would have got me. Oh my gosh, they came back. Go away. Just trying to get to a thousand points. Can't you see?
Hmm, there's a lot of purple. We've done it. it took a little bit, but but we got there. We finally got a win. Uh, an hour into the night, and we got our first win. Take it. <laughs> okay, communication error has occurred. That's fine. Can I change the song now? I uh, am going. What song am I going to put on? Guess I'm... You know what? We're going to put on this one. Let's hear it. Yeah, one thing that Splatoon really nails, in my opinion, uh, overall aesthetics, and then the music. song in the match too that's not because I chose it though that was pure luck but happy about it yeah we got banana actually are they on our team or the other team they're on the other team Also, something else that's really cool about Splatoon is every band that in this game, or I can be rephrase, every song in this game was made by an in-game, fully fleshed out Lord artist or band who all have names and appearances and like a backstory. It's crazy. to cheer for someone named Banana is trying to influence my primitive mind and overpower my sense of being in your chat. It's okay. Wait, okay, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're named Banana. I'm named Plum. We're both named after fruit. I got two splats. That's fantastic. Guy is targeting me with that. Wait, is there a campaign mode? There is a campaign mode. Maybe I should play through that. Well. Okay. 
Yes, there is a campaign mode. It's really cool, too. There's a, a campaign mode in Splatoon 1, 2, and 3. And then Splatoon 2 has a DLC campaign, too. Yeah, but I really like bananas. Okay, fair enough. I don't think I've ever eaten, like, just a plum. Like, I've had plum sauce, which is really good. But I don't think I've ever eaten, like, just a plum. But you know what? Fair enough. There we go. That might be a win. Well, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion really spiced up the campaign. It really needed it. And it was a really good spice up. Okay, we won by a lot. Yes. Either Got a win, and we needed a win. Can you give me another special up, please. Okay, it's ink resistance. That's okay. We live. All right. Now we wait for our next match, and we found it immediately. Hydrox? Isn't that the name of the cookies? Isn't Hydrox a cookie brand? Like, that predates the Oreo, but nobody remembers that? Am I wrong? Actually, I think that is the brand. I recently heard that the reason that they named them Hydrox, even though it sounds more like a cleaning product than a, a cookie brand was because they wanted the product to sound like fresh and clean or something. Honestly, I think they did too good a job with that. There's somebody with a slosher down there. Oh, he didn't see me. I didn't see him. It's fine. Alright, I'm back. I can't back up on the stage back. I got a splat. What a great shot. They got me. They got me good. Go away. Go away. Oh, they might be a better shot than me. They've already got me once. Kind of afraid now. Need to special. Okay, we got two of them locked in. Not great, but we need two. Back up. We are backing up. The nice part about Splatoon is the matches are only three minutes long. So, when we do terrible, like this, it's okay.
Oh, that is bad. 27 to 68? I think we were close. We were close. I'm noticing a trend here. Uh, matches where I am the best person on the team, or second best person on the team, we lose. Matches where I'm third or fourth best, we win. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, back to crazy Splatoon stuff. Uh, not only do, like, all the artists have, like, lore behind them and stuff, like, in-game, but, like, the backstory of the game is really crazy and, like, pretty dark. It's... We're playing in a, uh... In other words, I win when carried. Absolutely. Uh, we're playing in, like, a post-apocalyptic world, where, like, humanity died out a long time ago. Sentient squids and octo- and, like, octopus have taken over. All really crazy stuff. Also, the problem is, uh... Uh, we do better if I'm not- I- I need somebody when I'm using the- this weapon, the reflux. Uh, I need somebody on my team to be, like, really, really, like, bloodthirsty. Since I'm not going for kills at all, and I'm just trying to eek turf and get my, get my special as often as possible, I need somebody on the team who's dedicated to just hunting down the, uh, the enemy. Which is great, because, like, Raptor is really good with the roller, and she's really bloodthirsty. So, it works great. But Raptor's not here, so... I should have gone after the They have the... well... Actually, those were bad. I might change up my weapon after this. Remind me to change my weapon and not hit next. I'm gonna change it up. I'd like to get more than two people. We're going to make you. Also, uh, there's always two maps in rotation in the normal uh, mode, which is what we're playing in. And they rotate every two hours. They'll rotate at 10 o'clock uh, my time. But I don't know what time it is. We fell apart at the end really bad. The maps will rotate in 20 minutes. Alright, we lost uh, 2 to 1. Alright, we're gonna... 
going to change weapons. Yeah. We'll let the old reflux take a break. What weapon do I want to use next? You know what? We'll use the splash matic I saw somebody using one in the last game, and I said, you know what? splash matics a fun weapon. I should, uh... I, used, I haven't played it for a while. Let's go with that. I have to completely change my mindset now, though, because I've gone from a inking weapon to a much more kill-focused weapon. We do have the crab tank, though, and the crab tank is really good. In fact, it's so good that they've nerfed it, like, three or four times. But it's also really cool. Really interesting shade of green. Okay, I have to think in terms of killing. It must be bloodthirsty. I have to go. I like the way they do too. Like I said, this game has such a good aesthetic. Okay. They have a splat lane. Oh, don't jump on me. They're going to know I'm here. <laughs> okay, he's revving up. Never try to... Uh, <laughs> never try to walk towards somebody who's firing a mini gun. Like, active.
Tear Stained Wanderer Baku. That's a great name and title. When you're in the crab tank, you have a lot of bonus, like, health, but uh, if you get shot in the back, where you're, like, actually sticking out of it, not so much. Wow, they both put up a shield at the same time. Jumped up at the wrong time. That Trizuka against the uh, the crab tank. My money's on the Trizuka. people back. That's fantastic. The Trizuka is a pink bazooka. Yes. And it fires three times, and each shot fires a swirl of three, like, big blobs. A direct hit by it will kill every time. See you up there. Definitely won that. Number one super jump spot and assist. That's fine. liking this weapon, but I think we're going to change it up. Try something else again. Because why not? The end zap. That could be pretty good. Is this the right outfit to wear with this? So your clothes have abilities in this. Which... Augment your stats in various ways. I'm not sure if this is the right outfit to wear with this, but we're going to go with that. Anyways, I now have the auto bomb, which is this cute little drone that you throw it out and it'll walk towards the nearest enemy and then blow up as long as they're. And my special is really cool. It's like artillery. It's one of the newer specials. Oh, I thought the outfit was actually a character. Oh, so none of the characters that you play as in the game 
at least not in the multiplayer mode, are really anybody. Like they're just they're just your like avatar that you uh, play as, and you can change how they look at any time. In fact, this game really cares about fashion. Anyway, so I'm gonna put down our and get killed, but. In fact, uh, fashion and looking good is like a really big deal in in game. Like in more thinking things. Uh, looking fresh is a really important part of like their uh, society. You always have to look fresh. Like a drink, please? I already got one. My diet, Dr. Kelp. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Another drink? Don't mind if I do. Two posts. Perfect sense. The Splushomatic shoots really fast and pretty inaccurately, but if you stand up close to one, uh, you're going to get absolutely get melted. change to the other version of this weapon. Oh, at point blank range. Brutal. Yeah, I'm going to change to the other version of this weapon and change my own. Maybe we won? Maybe? We won. Fantastic. I didn't think we had that. Here. Care about more. Probably this. I have to find the weapon before it's too late. Oh crap. I don't see it. I did not see it. Why not have it? Okay, well, we're using the reflux again for one more map because I uh, couldn't find the weapon I wanted to switch to. That's okay. I wish I could pull up and... I wish I could pull up my weapon list from here. Oh, you know what? We'll just cancel. We'll just cancel the queue.
There it is. That's what I want. This is the same weapon, it has a different skin on it, but the weapon is identical, but my loadout is different. I have a different secondary and a different special. I throw the suction bomb, which is a pretty good bomb, honestly. And then my special puts down the, uh, the Tactic Cooler, which are the sodas that everybody on my team can grab to get buffs. The weapons are linked to the second area. So, uh, your kit, your primary, uh, it determines your secondary and uh, special. Everything is a loadout base, but you can't pick and choose. You can't pick and choose like uh, special and uh, secondary. It's predetermined. Super Chump special. To really make use of this, uh, this loadout I'm, <laughs> I'm using, I have to try to stay near my team. Because otherwise they can't get my drinks. So I can't really split push or, or anything. I have to stay near them. The super chump down. When you have this drink buff, you get like a buff to like all your stats. It's just really nice. Did we win, though? Uh, yes, definitely. We uh, definitely won. Maps are going to rotate in two minutes. Let's try something else, completely different. Because why not? We'll, we'll use some duelies.
dualies are cool. They are twin pistols. These ones are drills. Dualies let you do some really cool stuff like this. And every type of dually is different. This one has the longest range and boosts you the furthest, but it's also kind of slow. And we got into one more game. When we get back, the maps will rotate, though. So it'll be two brand new maps. So this is a pretty ranged weapon, so I kind of need to stay back a little. walked into a Hydra. Oh no, it's a Heavy. I'm not in our base at all, but this guy's taking care of it. Yeah, this map is pretty large. I boosted off. Dude, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I'm not the best with dualies. There's 30 seconds. There's time for a miracle. Not sure where that one went. We were definitely losing when there was 30 seconds to go. I think we won. Yeah, you you were you were believing in me. I appreciate that. Me, I was not believing. Yep, everything's updated. Can I take a second? Wait, I I couldn't skip this. There's something is this an update? 
Oh, it's Grit. Grit's been here look lurking. Hello, Grit. It is good to see you again. Uh, this is from left to right, uh, by the way. Shiver, Fry, and Big Man. They are the idle trio of this game. They run uh, this like talk show where they uh, talk about updates and levels and everything. They're also the, uh, I guess, minor spoilers. They're the secondary antagonists of the story mode. They are wonderful and very, very dorky. Oh, it was an update, Raptor. It made me watch this because of this. There's a challenge today. This looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> Too many Trizookas, a high-powered Trizooka battle. I don't want that. <laughs> Well, let's see what the stages are. Mahi Mahi Resort and Manta Maria. There's also other modes like Challenge, Anarchy Battles. Catch me in the front, always. I'm talking battles, concerts, you name it. Okay, Bray. Oh, I haven't even shown uh, Salmon Run yet, either. Salmon Run is the PvE mode. It's kind of like a zombie mode. Like a horde zombie mode. It's really fun. It's primarily what Raptor plays. Oh yeah, and also uh, the hub where you run around and do everything is really cool. It's a whole city. And when they're doing their live shows, uh, if you choose to skip it, you can come see them performing it in the air. Like from here, it's pretty cool. I think they wave at you too if I look at them. I'm pretty sure they'll wave. Oh, yep, they do. It's so cute. Yep, this is the city where Splatoon 3 takes place, which is different than the city that the last game took place. And it's pretty big. <laughs> this game also has like a card battle mode mini game. There's a this game's got a lot going. Oh yeah, you can also build make these cool lockers. Here's my locker. I don't really wear that outfit very much, though. Maybe I should. I don't remember what abilities it has on it. It's fine. Actually, what ability is this again? Thermal ink. Okay, yeah. yeah this is fine. What weapon are you going to try out on? What was it? Manta Maria and something else. I don't remember the other map. Maybe we go Splattershot Pro? That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we'll go Splattershot Pro.
while we queue up, give me one second. Anyways, we're on Manta Maria. It's a boat. Because uh, Inklings are ink-based creatures, uh, if they fall in water, they die. So it's kind of crazy that they make boats. This is a stage from the last game uh, that they brought over into this game with an update. A pretty cool stage. Wow! I should have been further back. I haven't used the, the Splatter Shop Pro for a while. <laughs> I'm also using an outfit that is not that great, but it looks cool. Trade it. It's a dynamo. I don't think we got that. No, but it was close. Wow. It was way closer than I thought. But yeah, Grid, how are you doing? Sorry, when you came in, I uh, was adjusting my desk. Uh, I've been standing a while. I'll change it up again, why not? Variety is the spice of life. Okay, I'm going to need a very different... Try the Hydra. I don't think it takes even longer to charge up than I remember it.
You know what? This is not a terrible stage for a Hydra. They have a charger. I think I shoot first. I feel like I'm lagging. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm lagging. Someone disconnected. Okay. I think someone was having connection issues. I thought so. We were lagging pretty bad. I dare bring the Hydra in. Yeah, I'll bring it in again. I'm not that great with it, but I didn't even get to finish a match with it in anyway. We'll bring in the Hydra, why not? Already locked in. Okay, I feel like I want to just hang out right up here. another really cool weapon that I'm not good at that I wish I was better with. Uh, the Splatana Stamper. I'll switch to it after this because I'm not going to do very good with this uh, Hydra at all. Even though the minigun is really cool. I'm not really good with this type of weapon. 
uh, or its like position in the game, which is called an anchor. Anchors are people who are supposed to stay back and like provide cover and support. Not that great. You might like the uh the Hydra. I feel like it's a really good weapon. Or or just the the splatlings in general, which are all like the different classes of miniguns. They're really good in like a coordinated team. They're kinda hard to use in like uh when you're just like playing with randoms. I guess I'll search Splatoon lore or watch the campaign lore. You should, because the lore of this game goes crazy deep. And there's so much of it, and it's really interesting. Okay, we need to change here. The run speed. We need this one. This one is... This, this gear is not really kitted yet, but that's okay. All right, this is the Splatana. It's a chainsaw, you rev it up. If you hit someone with it directly, they get absolutely destroyed. And you lunge forward. Hello, Striker, welcome in. It's good to see you. I love how the Splattershot line is just 90 Super Soakers. It really is. <laughs> Ao chainsaw, it is a chainsaw. I'm about to do it a incredible disservice, though, in my hands. I, I need to make that clear. It is such a cool weapon, though. That person is already up there. Holy crap. They're already in our base. I stepped on a mine. Okay, this is really stupid. I should not be rushing this person. <laughs> For some, I thought maybe I could rush them with the dash. You can't do that. You can't rush a Hydra. That is already shooting. It's just not going to work. That person is using a Brella. It is a shotgun style weapon. I don't think I've pointed out those yet. But those are shotguns. This guy's gonna have a bad time. Wait. It's a super jump thing. Need to get behind people. I haven't even gotten my special yet. Oh my gosh. I keep dying before I can even use it. This guy has the right idea. Serious damage to our base. They're right here. It's this guy. Oh, I should have cleaned up our base more, but. Okay. The 
There's no way. We won by less than half a percent. Oh my gosh. Also, somehow I got most assists. I didn't think I did... I did okay with this. I, but I guess I did. I would love swim speed. Did not get it. We'll try out another weapon. What's a class I haven't tried yet? On stream today. You know what? I haven't used a brush. We'll use the brush. So this is the brush. They do this. They let you go real fast. Also, they they, uh, they can do this. Is that a charger that hit me? Oh my gosh. Raptor, <laughs> Raptor, can you look at the screen? Look at the enemy team. Oh my gosh. They have a lot of ranged weapons. Including the scariest weapon in the game, if somebody is good at it. Like, bar none. What is that weapon? Uh, I would say the E-Leader. Wouldn't you agree, Raptor? The E-Leader 4K is, without a doubt, the scariest weapon in the game, in the hands of, like, a master. It's even more funny because water in this game means death, so I'm just picturing capital punishment super soakers with water. It kind of is. Although, funny enough, uh, Enemy Eek does the same thing. Uh... Turf wars are actually super lethal. Like, when you get splatted in a turf war, they actually do die. It's just uh, those little revival, those reviving. I jumped into water. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, the technology they use that, like, reconstitutes their bodies is essentially uh, bringing them back from death. But yeah, no, and, and it's also apparently pretty painful. Like, Pretty metal. Oh, what is that lineup? Yeah. That was bad. This is a cool one. That's true. Water is uncaring and unfeeling. Yeah, this team is not fun to deal with, Brad. I see you, E leader. You know what? We're just gonna run. We're not gonna run. I'm too fast. Unless I walk towards them. <laughs> B got wiped out. That is not good. That wasn't fast. It was awful. 
The E leader is a brutal one. You know what? I should switch to the E leader just to show how how brutal it is. I'll do absolutely terribly with it, but I can show you what it is that I'm talking about being the scariest weapon in the game. We got run speed, but a preferred swim speed, but that's okay. I don't have it. Dude, I actually don't have the weapon. I haven't bought it. And I uh, I need to unlock more currency to buy it. Well, I'll just do... Uh, I really don't want to be wearing the swim gear for this, but whatever. It's too late. Uh, they're called chargers. They are snipers. The E-Leader 4K sniper has the longest range and does the most damage, which makes it really, really oppressive in the hands of somebody who knows how to use it properly. Hi, a surprise late stream. Nice. Hope you have fun. As per usual, I will be lurking. Hello, Fiana. It's good to see you. Enjoy your lurk. I hope you're doing well. It's always nice to see you. This is a special type of charger because it lets you save up five shots. Like it has a it has a magazine. Uh it doesn't do as much damage though. And it doesn't have the best range. Lucky me, the enemy team has two chargers. And they one of them outranges me. I couldn't run fast enough. I'm putting up a terrible show with this. I'm not much of a charger player either. I'm more about, like, the, the blasters. Or not blasters, uh, just the normal shooters. try a roller, though. I haven't tried a roller yet. That's Raptor's weapon of choice. Now that's a scary thing. Raptor with a roller? Hey, I got somebody. I feel accomplished. <laughs> Clear that out. This is a good outfit to wear for a roller, so I'll, I'll switch to a roller, which will be a completely different type of weapon. Like, couldn't be more different, honestly. Somehow won. I was the number one jump spot. Oh, 
Do I own mini rollers? <laughs> no, I own the Flingza and the Carbon. Guess I'm gonna use the Carbon. I haven't played this... I haven't played Splatoon 3 that much compared to Splatoon 2, which I had a lot of hours in and almost everything. Anyways, this is kind of like a the ink brush from earlier. Another melee weapon, but this one's a little little heavier. Although this is the lightest version of a roll. They have a charger, we have a charger. Hopefully the snipers just keep each other. Oh my gosh. Snipers with really good twitch reflexes are... really hard to deal with. Like that person clearly has. They need to sneak up on them and hit them, but. Got them. Got them? Okay. I should have, uh. I shouldn't have gone in that deep. Especially if I got a roller. Yeah, that's, that's so true. Rollers against good chargers are going to have a very bad one. Special. I guess I can use it. I'm like really bad with it though. Raptor, there's another version of the carbon in this game, right? The deco? What is its kit? I don't remember which one you use. Do you use the normal one or the deco? have any uh, weapon tickets, so I can't, like, pick up anything. Again, we won somehow. I was the most shot at person. I believe it. a slosher yet. I haven't used a brella yet. I haven't used a blaster yet. I 
could go for that. I could. I guess I could do a round with the slasher. Now we wait. That was pretty quick. Oh, Raptor Y. Raptor Y. Look at this team. This is this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. This is the worst team we played against tonight. And I, I mean, like, worse to play against. Not they're going to do bad, because they're probably going to do great. Oh, crap. And I have a slosher. I have a, a short-range weapon. Yeah, what bad luck. I decide to take a slosher in, and it pairs me up against the most oppressive team it could possibly do. Although, so far, we're doing okay. I guess if we don't let them... Uh... Wow, he, he tap-fired somebody like that. That was kind of cool. Uh, an E-leader tap shot at someone at point point range. Got me out of the air. Oh my god. I'm telling you. E leader players are on a whole they're playing a whole different game. And they're on another level. I thought we were doing okay, like surprisingly okay earlier, but we have no chance if we keep going into into them one, like one by one. Wow, that map is a mess. The only thing that could have made that scarier would have been if it had been four chargers. What other class of weapon have I not brought in today? I haven't used the Brella yet. I guess we're going to go for a Brella. Such a cool weapon, but... Kind of a hard one to, to use. Especially because they don't do a lot of damage.
takes three shots to get a kill with this thing. They're slow. At least the all chargers. A charger and a string, uh, tri string. style I'm supposed to be. Not getting marked. Not doing that either. I think this is a flanking style weapon. Which means I need to go over. Or I will get this charger. I don't know if anybody saw how fast they, like, turned and shot that. What terrible timing for a killer whale. Which can kill you through walls. And I was locked into a corner behind a wall. So much ink to, sh to, uh, to recover. I gave him so much of my ink to paint over, he got his special. That charger player is slowly creeping forward. And it is scary. I don't necessarily want to leave the lobby I'm currently, like, locked into. Okay, you know what? My my stuff's going to wear out after the next match. So we'll make the next match probably the last one. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll do a salmon run. And then I'll and then we'll wrap it up for the night. Uh, last weapon of the night. Not a lot of time. It. How about the squeezer? Yeah, it is getting kind of late. The squeezer is kind of a cool shooter. It has two different fire modes. One, slow and... Well, one is shorter range and more spread out. Better for turfing. And then the other mode is more precise and farther is better for uh, like splatting.
Hopefully I'll do a little bit better this time since I'm more comfortable with shooters. I failed to kill the charge. That's really bad. Try going left. I've been going right all these times. I'm just happy I got it. <laughs> okay, this will be the last normal match. Then we'll do a salmon run and I'll probably go to bed. Then everybody can see what a salmon run looks like if you have never seen the game or played it. We ended on a loss. That's okay, though. My uh, win-to-loss ratio tonight was probably very bad. All right, time to go to Grizzco. Done a salmon run for a while. Eh, I'm sure it'll be. I should have looked at the weapons. What are the weapons in rotation? Arrow spray, big swig, explosure, and 96 cal. Raptor, is the explosure the one that can take down a uh, fly fish? Anyways, we're working our part-time job now. Our extraordinarily dangerous part-time job. This is the PvE mode. Multiplayer PvE mode. Where you fight salmon in. And I try to steal their eggs. Because we use them for power. They're like batteries. It's best not to ask them any questions. Are they sentient? The answer is yes. Oh. 
Are we in the wrong for doing this? 100 percent. Closer player, you need to shoot that thing. Those are Grizz's eggs. <laughs> Look, Mr. Grizz wants eggs. Mr. Grizz wants eggs, he's gonna get them. This is what I that technique, that was, that was crazy. you hear that alarm noise? The horn? That means a new boss sand has spawned somewhere. Six gap. It's high tide. It's it's a night. Oh dear God! Please don't let it be glow flies. It's mud mouse. We can handle mud mouse. Mud mouse are okay. If it had been glow flies, we would have probably not been so cool. Thank you. 
not use my specials at all. I really haven't needed them. Hundred and one eggs? That was really good. That's what I like to see. You've got a future here, kid. This'll go on your performance. Hey, we did great. It was fun. But I think it's time for us to wrap up for the night. Because we've been streaming for almost three hours. Thank you, everybody, who joined me tonight for this uh, completely unplanned stream. That was a lot of fun. I, ho I hope you enjoyed it. I am thinking about doing more of these evening streams in the future, where I do games that are not uh, really games that you play to, to, to finish. Games like Splatoon, uh, Super Auto Pets, uh, multiplayer games in general, uh, roguelites. I think I might do those in the evening, and then in the daytime, do my, my normal stuff. You know what? We should. We should raid into somebody. Why not? Let's raid into... I didn't raid early. Yeah, it was really nice seeing you. Do I have a raid message? Uh, usually, uh, I, we hit him with a crab rave or a crab raid. You know what? Let's raid into Hypovox. I have followed her for a while, but I've never gotten to raid into her uh, because usually uh, I'm not streaming this late. But let's do that. She is currently playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foti, which, uh, if you don't know what that is, it is a absolutely rage-inducing game uh, that is designed to uh, make you angry <laughs> because it's so hard. But yeah, let's raid over into her. And thank you again, everybody. I will see you tomorrow, and we'll be back to playing Mario. You all have a great night. I'll see you later. Bye.